Midnight Suns. Or Spider Verse. Suns. Spider Verse. But we're going with. We're going with the Midnight Suns, baby. I feel like this gun really works well with the Punisher. I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, man. I'm sorry. I had to do the Midnight Suns. Okay, it's not my fault. Question is. Which Luke Cage do I use? I love the classic, but like, the modern is cool. Although I hate this figure because it's waist joint is so freaking- Sorry, but the waist joint is really loose. That's why this guy's not going on my top 10. Although he would look good in this game. Yeah, we're going with modern Luke Cage. This will be. Let me just... Yoink? Well... Definitely me you buddy why did you have to fall i mean honestly you're such a fail just like that but nothing ever changed shameless plug go check out the x-men displaying video not a bad roster if i do say so myself yo guys what is up welcome back to another youtube video and more today we're doing another displaying video since the last one got over 100 views, which is incredible because normally my displaying videos don't get a lot of views, but that X-Men one got a lot of views. So we're back again doing it again. So remember, guys, um, I will keep doing displaying videos if you guys keep viewing them. Just get people to watch the displaying videos. Send them. Share a friend. Like, just hit that share button down there right now if you're watching this video. Find your mom. I will end her, and I'm gonna. I'm just kidding. I won't do that. But um, for real though, go share this video, guys. Get it to around 100 views, just like the last one. Let's see if we can even get this video to 200 views. I swear, if this video does so bad and gets like freaking 30 views, I will do so. But yeah, guys, I decided today I would be doing another displaying video. Um, it was either between Spider Verse or Midnight Suns, and I decided let's go with Midnight Suns because. I love the Midnight Suns, one of my favorite Marvel teams, and I really want to put these guys finally on display, like Ghost Rider, this guy deserves to be on the display, flipping um, the Punisher, um, Man-Thing deserves to be on the display, this guy's awesome, I do finally want to put this Daredevil on display, I know I've had this for like half a year now, have not put it on display just because I didn't really want to change my Avengers display, and I had this guy on display. But anyways, we'll be doing that today. So yeah, guys, that's really it for today's video. So now we're going to get right into it. Um, I do have a pretty good idea of what the roster is going to look like for my Midnight Suns team, which I'm really excited for because I love the Midnight Suns. Um, so yeah, we're going to get jumped right into it. Let's go. Also, I need to pick which Daredevil I want. Do I want new classic or new modern hmm. wait why did i say this is new this isn't like i mean like the figure is new but the actual thing that's on my house anyways so let's see yeah let's even go with this one get this out of here honestly these guys look pretty well together too like damn i actually really like this electric figure next up do we put mr knight on this way or Moon Knight on the display. Hmm. Hmm. Why not both, honestly? Because I think they look good over there. Yeah, why not both? Let's do it! Might as well throw in one Spidey. I mean, how much harm can it do, you know? Thinking getting Ghost Spider in a nice whipping action scene on his bike. Yeah. That is awesome. Okay. First thing going in. Wait. God damn it. I need to put Ghost Rider on the actual bike. This guy is. Oh, yeah. Alright. Let's see how that looks. Ouch. I need to fix that up. I am not going to lie to you guys. I genuinely forgot that the Ghost Rider figure came with all these flame effects. <sighs> I'm kind of slow, guys. First up, let's do Man Thing. Where? How does something like this in the back look? Kind of creepy, right? 
How is that looking? I mean, honestly. God damn, that looks good. Oh my god. Okay, I see you, Anthony. I see you. Pop off this head. Just grab the same head. It's okay, guys. Pop on. I swear, man. It's because it's on camera. Pop on this head. Now we're ready to rock! Let's get that in there. Ooh. Oh, yeah. My buckets of accessories for this one. Let's get that in there. And wow! Yeah, this display is going to be a winner. Prepping everybody for the shop right now. I did move Ghost Rider up a little bit because I think I'm gonna do something cool with there. Where is it? Where? Aha! There you are, you little bugger. Now I just need the hand. There you are. Just getting this guy posed up so that we can get some cool dynamic shots. Ooh. Oh yeah, baby! Now all we need is a little DC Multiverse flight stand. And we've got ourselves a kick-ass pose. Now that is looking badass. What if we do the same for Spidey, but a walk robber pose? You know what? I'm feeling good today. I'm even gonna put the web wings on. Okay. I'm not mad at that, actually. That looks so good. And I'm not even kidding you guys. Those web wings took like 30 minutes to put on. Are though? W shelf. How can I use this in a cool, creative way? Ooh. I know. Not even joking, guys. I know I said this in the last display video, but I think this might be my new favorite shelf. I mean, look at this. This is coming along so great. And we still have so many more characters to do. Oh, this is going to be an amazing shelf. I am so excited. I also think when I'm done with the shelf, I'm going to mount this bright light up the top. Just because how good of a shelf this is. God damn, Frankie. I love to watch you work. Alright, guys. This is what I have so far for the display. I honestly don't think I can fit any more characters. I was thinking, contemplating putting um, Logan in here, Wolverine. And also, you may be noticing one character that I did mention is missing, and that is unfortunately Moon Knight. I do not have a place to put him. I did not think that this area would get so filled up. Um, but yeah, I do not have any place to put him, unfortunately. But look at everybody who's in the picture, man. Look at all this stuff. I have Man Thing back there, and I thought it'd be cool to put some fire effects like he's roasting somebody um, with his powers. Really love how that Spider-Man came out. Love how that Luke Cage pose came out. That Daredevil pose is amazing. Ghost Rider is incredible. Like, oh, look at all this. Goodness. Okay, guys, this is the finished product. And look at all this goodness. You may be wondering. Yes, I was manageable to fit in Moon Knight right there. I think that looks so good. So, yeah, we're going to be going over every character here. I mean, look at the display, man. Oh, it is so good. So, yeah, guys, this is the finished display. I even put the light up there. So, now we have the perfect Midnight Suns Marvel Knights street level display, guys. I think I'm just going to go with Marvel Knights display. Look at this whole display, man. So, yeah, this is one of my favorite displays in my entire room, and I think I'm going to keep it this way. Also, over here is the Justice League display. It hasn't really changed all that much. Just wanted to show you guys that. But now, back to the goody goodies. So, yeah, guys, first off, up front, I thought it'd be cool to put the new Marvel Legends Hasbro Iron Fist. This is one of my favorite figures of the year. He is an awesome figure. Had the flame effect on his fist over there using a karate chopping hand up front. And I love this screaming head. I love the screaming heads for all the Hasbro figures this year. This year has been one of my favorite years for Marvel Legends. This figure in particular is amazing. 
Next up, we have the Punisher, which is also one of my favorite figures of the years. Um, definitely up there in the top 10. I love this figure over here. We have Spidey as well. Managed to get the web wings in there. Have a web slinging hand over there. Um, I do not kid you when this took so long to make this uh, pose possible. The web wings are so annoying to fiddle with. But um, back to Punisher over here. Um, he has the LMG from the G.I. Joe Classified series from the uh, soldier figure. I don't remember his name, but I, he wasn't. He was more like an army builder character. But I took the LMG from him, gave it to the Punisher over here, and I think that looks awesome. Um, definitely a great pose that I got this Punisher in. I love that Helling head. Helling head? Yelling head. I mean, look at that thing. Back here, we have Luke Cage, the Power Man. Love that yelling head, screaming um, head. Um, this, unfortunately, was not one of my favorite figures of the year, even though he was my most excited and anticipated of the two-pack with Danny Rand, um, Iron Fist, and the Power Man, Luke Cage. But it's because the waist on my figure is really loose, and it just completely destroyed this figure for me. I don't know if I've ever um, said that on the channel, but I really don't like this figure because of that. Maybe if I got a second one and the waist wasn't so loose, um, maybe I'd like it a lot more. But I don't know if it's worth it to get a second pack just for a waist joint, practically. Um, practically. But um, I do love the pose using utilizing the Superboy collector's edition effect right there where he's pounding the ground have the open hand over there just a wonderful display and he's kind of in the center of everything here and i think that is really cool for power man um yeah so i love that figure right there at least sorry i don't love the figure but i love the pose i got the figure in so that is an awesome pose over here we have blade another one of my most disappointing figures of last year just because um i don't really care for this figure the legs are traffic coned by the jacket the arms suck and the hands can barely hold on to his weapons i hate these hands they need to update the hands absolutely despise the arms as well they barely move literally just a t-swivel honestly at the arms so that really sucks don't like this blade whatsoever moon knight back here he is a cool figure not the greatest moon knight but really cool i do want to get that new moon knight that's coming out in the black heart wave honestly might replace him into this display but yeah not the greatest figure but still pretty solid overall in the back right there we have electra nachios daredevil um and yeah she is an awesome figure one of my favorite female figures of the year last year i think she really holds her own and especially paired with the modern daredevil she looks amazing love those size in her hands so just overall a 10 out of 10 figure well maybe not 10 out of 10 i may be giving a little bit much but i'd say a solid like 7 8 out of 10 that is a pretty good figure farther in the back we have mr knight himself Love this figure. Um, my first Moon Knight um, figure that I got and still really good. Um, not much to really say about him. Just kind of got him into pretty reasonable pose. But I thought it would be cool to get him in that pose. And I think he looks badass and awesome in that pose. Next up, we have Man Thing over here. This is an awesome figure of the year. Um, is just practically a re-release but with new head and some new parts like I think the torso is new, the hands are new, I don't know if anything else is new, but still a really good figure, I actually really like this figure, I know some people dislike it, I think it is really cool, I love that I got those burning effects onto his hands right there, um, and I thought it'd be cool to have him like the brute in the background, I think he is an awesome figure, I'm glad to have him in the collection and on this display. Next up we have the man without fear the devil of hell's kitchen daredevil one of my favorite figures of the year i know i've said that a lot in this video but honestly one of it, definitely in the top 10 by the end of the year i will tell you this the punisher and the daredevil are definitely in the top 10 at the end of the year um maybe iron fist as well because he's a great figure um um but yeah I am glad I finally got to use this extra this DC Multiverse stand that I had lying around. I love that I got him into this pose with the wire here traveling down into the figure. 
Um, and I think this is an awesome figure. I love the cell shading on this one. I know the cell shading is not the greatest when it comes to Marvel Legends, but on this figure, it's amazing, and I love it. And definitely my favorite Daredevil figure in my collection. Although that Mayfex is pretty tempting. Might get that. I'm not sure. But this figure is definitely awesome. I love that it got him into a flying pose. Kind of, again, like I said, with Power Man. He's kind of in the center here, holding the whole team together, which I think is awesome. Because he is leader-type material, as we've seen in the Defenders. And I really love this Daredevil figure. This guy is awesome. Last but not least, we have Ghost Rider. This figure is awesome. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I completely forgot about the fire effects that he came with to hold up his bike. But once I remembered that, I put it back on this figure. And this guy is awesome. The figure does kind of lack. And same problem that I have with Luke Cage. His waist is really loose as well, which kind of sucks. Kind of takes down the figure a little bit. The drop down hips can be annoying um, with the character when you're trying to get him on the bike. But overall, really cool figure chain is reused would have been nice to get new ones um the bike is the seller of this um two pack though that figure is awesome i don't think he'll be on my top 10 just because of the waist joint holds him back a little bit um no butterfly joints as well that would have been nice but overall that is a great figure to add to this display and it really brings together the whole thing so yeah guys that is gonna do it for my display video today i hope you guys enjoyed this nice fun comedy display video um, just like you guys just, um, enjoyed the X-Men one. Sorry about that. Um, I hope you guys loved this video. This video was really fun to make, and it adds another shelf into my display, like, over there, and then the ones behind me. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm really excited to add this display. Been wanting to do a street-level Marvel Knights display for a long time now. Finally glad I got to add it. Um, into my display had to clear up some legos not gonna lie but um overall guys this has been a great video to make make sure to like comment subscribe do all that youtube rigmarole and honestly guys i will see you in the next one peace